how to measure your neck for a gorget. The main measurement I need is pretty easy. Take a flexible tape measure and you want to do a neck circumference right around the center. Don't go way up here, don't go down by your shoulders, just right in the middle. Take this fairly snug. Now, if you're going to be wearing any sort of padding underneath the gorget, if your gambazon has a large collar that comes up, if you're going to be wearing a fencing hood underneath it, please put those on, please take this measurement over those garments. So that will drastically change the size of your neck and it will mean you will need a different size gorget. I generally recommend putting a gorget on over your gambazon collar or if you're a fencer over your doublet collar. If you're wearing a big hood or mantle or other large padding, I do recommend putting the gorget underneath those. And the reason for that, if I can bring my prop out, is you do want a gorget to sit fairly close to your neck. It shouldn't be choking you, but it should sit fairly close. When you start putting on hoods and collars, it starts to press the gorget out further and then this happens, which is not good. Um, secondly, it also tends to jab into your chin uh, worse. For most people, the circumference measurement is all you need. But if you have a very short neck, or if you have a very long neck, or you're just concerned about height, if you've had problems in the past with your gorget really digging in under your chin, or if it's been too short, you have a lot of skin sticking out that the marshals or whoever is in charge of your group doesn't like appreciate, uh, you do want to take a height measurement. Now, I've had many customers over the years uh, attempt to give me all manner of different numbers and measurements trying to do something like this. Uh, it's very inconsistent. Uh, it's a very unreliable way of getting a gorget height, so we don't use that. What I always tell my customers, and what I'm going to ask you to do now, if you are buying from me, is take a piece of cardboard, fold up a piece of paper, some box board, whatever. Start about three inches tall and about eight inches wide. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this, you're going to put it right up against your neck where the gorget would sit. So, don't choke yourself, but also if you can fit your chin inside, it's too far away. If you have a collar, that's nice and easy, just put it up against the collar. And test see how it feels. Um, you can see this gives me great protection, there's no skin sticking out, but man it's uncomfortable, it really jabs in there. So that means it's too high. So go in like quarter inch, maybe half inch increments, and then just trim it down. So trim a little bit off, put that in there, see how, okay that's a little better. Look in a mirror, have somebody try to poke. Now this style of gorget, you're never going to be able to put your chin to your chest. It's just the nature of the beast. What you're looking for is a balance between comfort and protection. And just to give a little bit of a visual demonstration with an actual gorget, I'm actually a size small. I tend to wear a small tall. This is a regular small. So you can see it's pretty comfortable, much more comfortable than my usual gorget. Um, but if I was doing rapier, the space here would be kind of a problem. If I was doing a heavy list or a blunted longsword, for example, this would be okay because my helmet would come down. Um, <clears throat> so. The other thing you want to do, raise your shoulders, pick your arms up, you know, move your head around a bit. Make sure you can do what you want it to do without jabbing you. But again, you're not going to be able to look down at the floor. This style of gorget just will not permit that. If you want to be able to do that while wearing a gorget, you need to spend a lot more money and get one of those beautiful articulated collars. Going back to our piece, this is okay. So I can kind of tolerate this. So we write that number down. Make sure you even take a ruler. Okay, this is two and a half. That's actually the size gorget I wear, so it's a pretty good guess. Trim a bit more off, just to compare. It's much better to do this and lose some paper than to spend money on a gorget and shipping and have to send it back. So, this is about two inches tall now, and I put it on, you can see, ah, it's pretty comfortable, but look at all this space here. Okay, so <clears throat> for me, I probably want to lean more towards the two and a half inch size. If you have no neck, keep trimming until you find that balance. Once you go past it, you're like, oh, that's comfy, but man, look at all this space. Back it up a smidge, send me that number, we'll get you a gorget that fits. Thanks very much.